sounds shaking, earth quaking, change. Yo, yeah, Nate, back again uh, for another GTA online video. Um, thought this week we'd look at uh, the bike club and seeing what you know possibilities there are for you to make money uh, if you were looking at this area on GTA Online. <clears throat> I think I've got the cheapest bike club. Uh, it's the one in the center of the map. Ironically, one of the best locations for it as well, even if it's one of the cheaper ones. Um, you'll find that there's missions to do all over the map for the bike club, so um, having a central position like this is actually quite useful. Um, so I recommend going for that. I do know a lot of people that have got some of the inner city ones as well. Uh, it's completely your preference, but I find that with the missions uh, that you do with the bike club, uh, it's kind of spread around the whole map. So to be central is actually quite advantageous in my opinion. Here's my bike club. Got a few cool bikes here. Got the choppers at the front. And then the super bikes. And a few utility vehicles as well. One of my favourites obviously the Batty. One of the cheaper ones, but you know, top performer. Absolutely killer. So to buy the bike club you have to go on to your phone's internet service and look for foreclosures, Maze Bank. When you enter the site there, uh, you'll look up in the top right, you'll see clubhouses. So you can pick your clubhouses from there. This one's my one here, you can see, different color. I can swap if I want to, but it's cost extra and you don't get any money back from the one that you've already got, so just bear that in mind. Then you get, well if you could afford it, uh, a bike garage in here to customize your bikes as well, which is pretty cool. But the whole idea of the bike club is to um, build up your drug businesses or your illegal businesses. Um, so my ones, so I'll show you on the map here. So I've got a cocaine one here. This is recommended for this one. Because um, this one actually makes the most money out of all of the types of businesses. The cocaine is the highest one. You, you'll notice it in the price as well. Uh, but I picked this cocaine factory because it's very close to my bike club. And also I've got the methamphetamine lockup, which is just down the road as well. So equally close. And then at the top here, I've got myself cannabis farm as well. And you can own, I think you can own five businesses in total. Uh, I might be wrong on that, I'm not 100%, but uh, you get counterfeit uh, goods and I think it's money laundering as well. I haven't really checked. Um, but I do know that the meth and the cocaine is the highest. The weed one's actually the lowest one, um, I think. So it makes the least amount of money for the amount of time that you put into it. But it's a wee farm. It looks pretty cool. So I picked it. So the idea of uh, the drug farms is that you, you build up a stock supply and uh, you sell it. Uh, the stock supply can be purchased. You can you can buy stocks at quite high prices actually, um, and it means that it reduces the the amount of profit that you get from selling them the items. Um, or you can steal the supplies. Now, in the early stages of your um, progression on GTA Online, it is recommended that you steal because of the price of the supplies is quite high. Um, every now and then there will be a Rockstar uh, sort of double XP weekend or double cash weekend. And they have done in the past that you get double XP uh, for your cell missions and double cash. 
um, and also you can buy supplies at half price so if you ever see that in the Rockstar Social Club just make sure that you know you want to spend your time and attention on these things uh, when those promotions are active so you know, my gist is that it, you know wherever I see the double XP's or the double caches uh, on the Rockstar Social Club I tend to go for that aspect of gameplay until the the promotion's off and then move on to something else or whatever they've got double XP that week uh, it's constantly changing all the time so keeps you nice and refreshed oh <laughs> talking while driving see cool thing about the motorcycle club as well if you go into uh, motorcycle club start it become your own captain hopefully it'll pop up soon there you go now that I'm the president I can go into my motorcycle club president options and I can manage my MC and if you'll see look that my character is now taking a very relaxed approach to driving his bike well if you're a, uh, if you do start the motorcycle club app and you become the president then you do have access to these specific styles on your motorbike which is really cool you can also see things you know you can change all your options this would be if you've got extra um, players in your club and the good thing about the bike club as well although it doesn't have the um, accessibility to helicopters and big weapons and things like that you do get up to eight people in your motorcycle club and that's really really cool when you've got like <laughs> you and seven of your friends riding around in uh, formation on your motorcycles uh, makes for quite interesting gameplay sometimes if you ever get seven friends on at the same time which is pretty rare in my occasion I don't have <laughs> only got like five friends Okay, so here's my cannabis farm. As you can see, I've uh, sort of abandoned it a little bit, left it to dilapidate. I've been playing this for a while. But this is where you would sell your items. So you, you buy your, I believe you buy your supplies there. Let's have a look, if it lets me. Yeah, so you can buy your resupplies here. Still, the supplies for free. Missions can be an absolute ball ache, so just be aware of that for supplies that only fill up a quarter of your bar as well. So if you look at the top here, where my mouse cursor is, uh, if you steal an item and come back and deliver it uh, back to your farm, it probably fills up to about here. So you have to do maybe like four or five of those missions before you fill up the stocks whereas you buy 75 grand worth of supplies now 35 grand on the uh, half off deals when you see on the Rockstar Social Club uh, well worth doing that I buy them now because I just I've got enough money to do that so it's not profitable in any sense though I've worked out you probably scrape maybe 50 or 100 grand on top of what what you put in so Cool to watch there, and you see the development of the trees as well. Uh, watch them get packed up and put into boxes ready for you to sell. It's really cool. I like that aspect of this game, and um, they will be hopefully implementing that in the next one. Rockstar Games, desperate. They've been waiting far too long for the next GTA. You need to act quick, as it were. I've heard that they're updating this. Uh, June 2021 for the Xbox Series X uh, that would be interesting hopefully they might add some new things to it uh, could they connect it up to uh, the new GTA Online and GTA 6 as well, I don't know I think that could be quite interesting it suggests you know, if they're developing this game 
uh, for the the latest generation of consoles that they you know they they are probably going to implement this into their new game in some way or connect your character that you've got already uh, to the new GTA Online world maybe in GTA 6 I feel like that's the path that they should go on um, it seems like that's the path that they are going on but let's you know let's find out and then you could use those airports for actually flying to different cities instead of uh, drag racing on the strip So now I've done my stock supplies, I'd wait for like a call from my guy just to say that my stock supplies are ready to sell and then you go back and sell them. But, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something that I think would be worth your time. Get my press right so we can get there quickly. So I'm heading over to my arcade. I take it this isn't a social call. If you're still very early on in your progression on GTA Online, the arcade's not going to be a viable option for you uh, unless you wanted to do the casino heists. Or you just wanted to play the arcade games that you can buy in there. Um, but it has another special cool trick uh, the, in the master control terminal that you can buy as an optional extra for your arcade. Okay, and uh, okay, that has no been uh, this game's lifesaver for the diehards, the people that keep coming back, the level 480s like me. Oh my god, we got a, a rank of 1000 in here, that's interesting. Oh my five and two. I'm the third highest in this lobby, which is a uh, shocking. Actually, usually I'm the first highest. Here's my arcade. If you didn't want to park on the street, there's always a cool little exit into here as well. If you didn't know. So this isn't just the only arcade you can get, of course there are arcades all over the place. I don't know why I picked this one personally. I think it was just most practical for me. I always base my things on location. Haven't done the heist yet. But here it is, this is the beauty. This thing changed uh, the way I play GTA Online. Um, it's amazing because the, the the biggest problem this game had before this mass control terminal was that you had to drive to each and every location just to do specific tasks you could never like sell a vehicle from your office for example you had to sell it in your vehicle warehouse using the computer inside there uh, and if you wanted to stock your farms or your labs um, you'd have to go to that location in order to buy the supplies to do that. Not not anymore. One thing that's really cool about this mass control terminal is it loads you into those specific laptops so you can resupply from the arcade. So what I did previously drive into the uh, wheat, uh, weed farm I didn't need to do because I could just go to the arcade and resupply here. It's a huge time saver, and there's one thing that um, is, you know, a true trait of GTA is that it is time consuming. You can blow hours on this game and not even realize it as well. Um, and it, most of the time, it's going around to these individual locations and buying those supplies and, you know, just keeping everything maintained. So to be able to do it from one location in the game now, wow. Really cool. My research progress is up there, almost unlocked. Something else? Okay, so here you go, guys. This is a great example. Um, I haven't checked the social club for the discounts or the uh, double XP or the 
double cache items just yet, but as you can see on the uh, bunker uh, business, you can buy your supplies at half off at this moment in time, and it is the 6th of May 2021 at the moment. So if you're on GTA Online currently, this is a really good way to make money. This particular business, because you can store supplies up to around a million, um, and then sell that at additional costs uh, for higher risk, of course, um, to about two to three million sometimes. I think with the double XP as well, you can get some really big payouts on it. So um, I will be doing a video on the bunkers, uh, maybe coming up fairly soon. Gonna buy my supplies for this. But really the key is, if you're you know, still progressing, as I said earlier, the key is really to build up all of these individual places, you know, buy them at discounted prices when they come up on the Rockstar Social Club, or if you've got enough money just to buy them all, um, and, and start with those. And then what you want to do is consolidate all of those operations together with things like the arcade and the nightclub. Um, so the uh, the nightclub doesn't have a mass control terminal like this, but it does have the ability to stock supplies from all of your businesses within the storage spaces inside the um, nightclub. So it's, it's a nice sort of counterpart to the mass control terminal that I've got here. The really good thing about the nightclub as well is that you don't have to, uh, the supplies that you build up on the mass control terminal there are completely separate to the supplies that are sourced for the nightclub storage center. So you can go to the nightclub, sell the stock that is accrued from all the businesses that you've got. Um, and then also you could sell the supplies that are accrued through the individual operations as well that are done on the mass control terminal so there are two two pots almost for each business if you have the nightclub that is That was insane. I can't believe that just happened. Another thing that's probably worth showing you um, is that all of the drug businesses that you can get with your motorcycle club uh, are upgradable. And uh, to upgrade them really is actually quite necessary if you really want to make some uh, big bucks when it comes to the standard setup on all of these they do not provide a lot of money whether you steal them um it's you take up far too much time for the money that you get back so you have to buy the upgrades as you can see uh these are the prices they are not cheap but they do really help out in the long run uh, as you can see, I already own these, so it's grayed out for me, but it'll be uh, green and available for you to pick if you haven't. I upgraded these on the discounts. Um, it's a bit of a gray with security up upgrade. I've heard one or two things, actually. I've heard that uh, it reduces the amount you get rated, so if you didn't know your lockups, your your weed farms, your meth labs, they'll all get raided by the police uh, at random times. And the security upgrade actually was supposed to prevent that from happening. It reduces the likelihood of it happening, but it doesn't completely eradicate the possibility. So for 570 grand for them to give you slightly less, you know, less chance of being raided, definitely not worth it. So. A lot of people don't take the security update upgrade. If it's um, <clears throat> if it's on sale or if it's half price or anything, maybe get it. Um, 
because I can tell you this, I it has really annoyed me um, in the past when you have to uh, go and attend the raid and complete the mission in order to save your supplies. If you don't, if you leave that mission, um, let the timer run out, you lose all of your your resupply, uh, all of your supplies within that business, and you have to start over again. So that can be really quite annoying. It, <laughs> In the past, it has hit me quite often without buying the security upgrade, but I don't know whether Rockstar have done updates um, in the years after because it, it hardly ever happens to me. So uh, I just leave the security upgrade as it is now. But once you build all of your stock levels up to the max, you can sell your stocks um, and they're done on delivery missions and it's randomized so sometimes you'll get bikes to deliver on sometimes you'll get uh, like a truck a singular truck and then other times you'll get things like almost like a FedEx van or uh, it's terrible like a UPS van and those missions are painful absolutely painful there's nothing you can do about it either it's just a case of just having to grind through and crossing your fingers and hoping that a griefer in a jet doesn't come along and destroy all your product whilst you're trying to deliver it it there's not a lot of balancing with this i feel like if you're going after the people that are selling the stock you're at a much greater advantage than if you're the person selling the stock so if you're ever selling big supplies get get you know, a full crew in, up to eight people, as I said earlier, it can really help out. Um, I've done it before. People tend to not, you know, mess with you if you've got that kind of people in your group. But um, to do it by yourself is near enough impossible. It's 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 a pain in in the ass, um, and you get quickly very tired of it. So, uh, as a s single player, in order to make money. I would wait till my stock levels are up to about here, just a quarter or maybe just past quarter, but not half. Anywhere past that halfway point or getting up to that halfway point, you're going to need multiple people to deliver your items. So just think about that as well. You know, it, it may look unappealing to sell your stock off when it's at a low level, but really it does help. It helps massively. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, this week, guys. Next week, I think we're going to be looking at uh, the bunkers and seeing the best possible ways to get the most money from from uh, that business venture. So stick around. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't like it, thumbs down. And also write a comment. Let us know uh, what you feel we can improve on our videos because we're always looking to improve for you guys. And, you know, we're really trying to build a strong community here. So... Uh, uh, as much help from you guys as possible would only benefit us. Um, thank you very much and see you in the next video.